twice if the reign of this gentle. Sadly, it won't be, not for everybody. And not just for this country either. If you take a wider view of more of Europe, you see the circulation starts off west of us, yes, admittedly, but it affects Spain and Portugal, and in fact, a good part of Western Europe. The wind's blowing in from the Atlantic all the time. It has a good consequence for those who have been suffering extreme cold from Poland up to particularly Scandinavia. All this daytime heating keeps going and removes those low temperatures. In fact, a general warming trend for Central Europe, as you can see from the colours. But it brings with it the rain, that rain through France tomorrow and ourselves, through Spain and Portugal by Wednesday and ourselves. But at the same time as it pushes back the cold, I think significant snow is likely for some northern countries of Europe. We won't see that. There it is then, there's the low driving the weather today, and tomorrow it's in much the same place, but at the same time it's dragging one of those fronts back through France, and that's the danger area. Now if it rains for 24 hours, as it's likely to do, and sometimes it's heavy, then the chances are with such wet ground we're going to have at least disruption to road travel and possibly some flooding. And that seems to be the case. We're forecasting about 60 millimetres, that's just over two inches, and the focus area is roughly the southeast corner of England, but if it's southeast Britain, it might extend into South Wales. There's a lesser risk there. That's tomorrow. Today, nice picture from space. This arc here is definitely rain. Either side, it's been sunshine. England's had a wonderful morning so far. The rain is in streaks, and it's been fairly heavy, with these brighter tops showing heavy showers running through Northern Ireland there. The line runs down through Lancashire, through Wales, and just tails off through Cornwall. But it's all moving east, so in the afternoon, expect Wales and Cumbria to see an improvement in the weather. The shower's moving east, though, with it. Heaviest probably in northern England and western Scotland. Now, tomorrow morning, the rain starts before dawn and will persist with the heaviest burst, possibly even thundery, every now and again in the southeast corner of England. There'll be rain, too, for western Scotland once more. The whole lot moves a little bit further around, so East Anglia's at greater risk in the afternoon. Still, thunder is just about possible. This rain will come in heavy bursts, but in between it looks fine, relatively dry, with fewer showers than today, but with similar temperatures. And Wednesday, a similar day, could see a repeat performance in that southeast corner. George. Rob, thank you.